that's my sweater. Hello, my friends. Hello, hello, welcome to another video. I feel better about filming myself right now. Last time I was out back and I like am friends with my neighbor who lives behind me and I was still self-conscious about her family hearing me talk. But I'm in my house now, I've got my house to myself. I shouldn't tell the world that, but by the time this is posted, my family will be back home with me. Yes, I live with my parents and I'm 22 and I'm doing great. Okay, so that's not what this video is about. Uh, my deep shame about living with my parents? No, this is a video about vegan hacks. I've been vegan for a bit now, not to brag, a little over three years. There's like a ton of these videos, so I just didn't wanna like regurgitate all of the information that's like already out there. I, I'm trying to share my good, unique, really like obscure, random hack, vegan hacks that I haven't seen anyone else talk about. Freezing your own fruits for smoothies. Frozen fruit is fucking expensive. And for me, there's only a couple fruits that I can justify buying frozen in a bag already. It's, there's a lot of fruits that I can't get anywhere around me fresh because I live in upstate New York. But there's only a handful of fruits that I can only get frozen that I would want to eat. And those are acai, mango. You can get fresh mangoes around here, but they're never really good. You're just better off buying them frozen. But um, things like blueberries, bananas, strawberries, um, spinach, kale. They're great things to freeze because they last a lot longer when you put them in the freezer. I know I'm like horrible about produce, especially about eating it on time. So freezing it is a really good way to go. The only thing is they stick together when you freeze them. So give your things a good shake, like an hour or two into freezing them, put them back in the freezer. The next thing on my list, um, kind of about saving money, but also about cheese. You know, we love cheese. Vegans, we do. We can't eat dairy cheese, but we like cheese substitutes. My favorite way to add cheesy flavor is your good old fashioned nutritional yeast. Bragg's is not the only people who make this stuff, you guys. This fucking container, this container, they, I'm like, this actually pisses me off. This is like one of those things that I'm like, no wonder why people think being vegan is expensive. This fucking container is $7. $7. I'll use a quarter of this in like a mac and cheese recipe. My hack for nutritional yeast, go to your health food store and ask for nutritional yeast in bulk. I buy this at my local health food store. It's $10 a pound, but basically, I can fill this for $2 at my health food store. I Sometimes I bring this container and I refill it, and then when I realized that it's just not enough nooch for me in, for one grocery trip, I started buying, this bag used to be really full. I just started buying bags the size of my head of nutritional yeast, and it'll cost you seven to $10 for a bag literally this big. Next vegan hack, not really a hack, these things are very commonly known, but um, get a rice cooker. Now, let me tell you why you need a rice cooker. This fucking thing is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I don't even like rice that much. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So, we all know rice is a bitch to cook. And you can buy those like, boil in a bag, Uncle Ben rice. That stuff is shitty and you cook it in plastic bags. Don't buy that ready-made rice. Get a rice cooker. You can make so much stuff in this thing. I use it all the time. My favorite thing lately has been throwing in rice and coconut milk and a bunch of herbs and nooch, which is short for nutritional yeast. I just think nooch is like really cute. It's like, oh, little nooch. It's like the best recipe ever. I'll have to, I'll have to like share it with you guys legitimately. Also follow my Instagram. It's got vegan recipes. Um, yeah, this shit is a game changer. So you can make way more than rice in it. You can do like pasta. You can leave stuff in here and set a timer to start it like in seven hours or so, go to work, come home to like a hot pasta dish. You can put pasta noodles, 
water and um, like broccoli and sauce in this and make a pasta dish and it'll be ready for you whenever. Also can do like a slow cooking thing so you can um, you can make chili in it, you can make banana bread in it. People make so much stuff in these rice cookers. You should see. I'll post a screenshot of like just the amount of YouTube videos that you can that people have about like vegan rice cooker hack and vegan rice cooker this. YouTube is your best friend. This is the biggest vegan hack I could ever give you is YouTube. YouTube, 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 YouTube. There are so, like, I learned everything that I know on YouTube. That's why I'm here, so that I can tell more people more stuff. But, like, I learned everything that, I learned almost everything that I know about veganism on YouTube somewhere or on the internet somewhere. Going off the nutritional yeast bullshit, um... This is cashew parmesan cheese. So this is like a cheesy substitute and you make it. This is not my recipe. This is a recipe by Minimalist Baker, who is another person who I learned so much from. Like grind in your food processor, you put cashews and nooch and salt and just it turns into parmesan cheese. Magic. Another vegan hack I have. So if you don't want to buy coconut milk which can be really expensive well not like super expensive but it can be kind of expensive for what you get it's like two dollars at least for a can of it um a good alternative to that is cashew cream and you can make that yourself at home if you just soak cashews overnight and blend it in like a high speed blender and then i don't have any to show you because i haven't done it in a little while but um after you blend it in a blender it's like this wicked creamy cream and this is the only nut milk you, you can make at home that you don't have to strain anything out of. So you just literally grind up your cashews after they're nice and soft from soaking. Um, you grind them up and you can use them in like mac and cheese recipes. For cooking, go for the cashew cream. If you're trying to impress non-vegans, go for the cashew cream. Those are all my food related hacks. We have traveled through time and space to be here to film this outro for you. I decided while editing that I was going to split my vegan hack video into two parts. So this is the end of part one uh, where we're just talking about vegan food hacks. I will be posting the socializing vegan hacks video as a separate video, um, but it will be posted at the same time as this one. So go feel free to check that out if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!